I'm going to give everybody a very big piece of advice. Okay. If you are, were not there, you should preface everything with, I wasn't there. And if you're not a bodybuilder or you're not a fucking judge, then it should also be, I wasn't there and I don't compete and I'm not a fucking judge. Because what happens is, is you get these little fucking morons online that throw their fucking opinions out. And you know what? Everybody can have an opinion. I, I, I truly believe that. Now, issue that I have is that most people that have opinions in bodybuilding, they've never stepped on stage. They're too fat and dumb to diet. They don't know how hard it is. They don't know what they're looking at. And they're just being assumption uh, assumptionists, if that's even a word. Um, because they're just basing it off one thing they look at. And the be best part about it is most people given the negative feedback about professional bodybuilders are the people that look the absolute fucking worst. All right, AMA fam, what is going on? Bringing you a little shooting the shit with Sister Nino. So, um, been a crazy couple weeks since, uh, the Arnold Classic is behind us, and uh, I thought I would give you guys, especially during this, if you guys hear any snoring, that is why um, they're here, just sleeping, hanging out. So, um, if you hear any snoring or weird sounds, it's them guys. So, uh, post Arnold Classic, my experience and what I thought being that I was at the show, and um, I know we've heard a lot of information. Um, Nick Trigilli does a lot of videos regarding the Arnold, um, Bob Ciccarillo, uh, but you don't really hear a lot about athletes that were there, um, that actually saw, it, you know, front row. So I was there. Um, I saw it front row storm. Stop snoring. <laughs> um, I was there, saw it front row. So what did I think? What was my experience? Um, and I will say this, okay. Um, as far as everybody went okay first second and third um i think they got that right i think it's fair enough to say that andrew sampson and uh nick were definitely the front runners for the show now um i definitely have to give a shout out um to somebody that after the olympia i really thought they were done so uh i thought that big rammy was probably done after the performance at the Olympia, not because he's not a good athlete, not because he doesn't have a great mindset, but because of the simple fact that the things that I saw on his physique didn't look like they were fixable. Um, they looked like they were just, um, atrophied muscles. We've seen it before. Um, we've seen it with guys like, uh, Ronnie. Um, and then as you get older, you know, you saw, you know, the guys just get smaller they start to have injuries and it becomes, um, pretty obvious that their time is coming as, as mine, you know, I, when I, 2017 came and then eight, you know, when I got burns and then 2018, um, my shoulder surgery, as, as things start to happen, your bar body starts to regress because you can't really catch up to father time. It's impossible. You're never going to beat it. So every day, every minute, every hour, every week, every month, you're actually getting closer to death and your body's getting older. Every second that passes, your body's getting older, right? Um, so you're never going to look once you hit like 35, 30, like you're not going to look better. You're, you're going to, your body is going to regress, um, actually almost every day when you hit a certain age, because that's what father time does. It, it regresses us. It makes us old. It makes us ugly. It makes us bald, makes us fat, um, and it makes us retire from bodybuilding. Now, after the Olympia placing, I thought Rami was going to be done. Uh, but unbeknownst to me, he came back at the Arnold and he, he was my biggest shock. And it wasn't shock that, like, holy shit, he's back. It was more like shock, like, holy shit, he fixed some of the things um, that were really obvious, glaring uh, weaknesses at the Olympia. Like, uh, his legs, um, the issues with his back, his tricep. Now, they looked improved. And you could argue, was it SCO oil? Um, was it the fact that he was just flat? Um, who knows? But all I can say is this, the problem is, is you can speculate what you think it is, but you don't really know. Um, 
I would have been the first one like, yeah, I think he probably just shot those areas up to fill them out. But then I heard that he was some extremely flat at the Olympia and that he couldn't fill out. And that's why his body looked that way. But in the same breath, your like his tricep was very flat and it looked like it was atrophied. That doesn't, your triceps don't go flat when you're not full. Areas in your body that go flatter are bigger areas. Like you could, your, your chest could be flat. Your legs could be flat. Um, you never hear anybody saying, oh, he's got flat arms, you know, or flat, he's, his back is flat. So for me, Rami did a phenomenal job and he came in fucking peeled. Uh, he was one of the guys that impressed me through and through at the show. So let's get into placing, right? We have Samson one, Nick two, Andrew three. Why is that interesting to me? Well, normally when you have guys that are similar structure, stature, symmetry, fullness, um, conditioning, they're going to be very close. And when you have a guy like Samson and Andrew in a lineup of a three coil out with Nick, Nick is the odd guy out. Sometimes that's a good thing because you stand out. Sometimes it's a bad thing because it's two guys that are similar um, stand out above you because they have more similarities. Now, for me, when I was watching the show, now granted, I did not go to prejudging. I made that very known on Mutant in the Mouth. I made it known on Bro Chat. Made it known on all my media channels that I did not go to the prejudging. So um, my objectiveness is just solely from the night show. Ugh. Did I see pictures from prejudging? Yes. But I'm somebody that knows that prejudging pictures or any pictures of a bodybuilding show do not tell the story because prejudging pictures could look like complete dog shit or night show pictures or it doesn't matter the stage lighting the flashes the angle if you're on the right place on the stage all that stuff takes into consideration and all these little fucking um soy boys on the internet that think oh he look if you weren't there i'm gonna give everybody a very big piece of advice okay if you are were not there you should preface everything with, I wasn't there. And if you're not a bodybuilder or you're not a fucking judge, then it should also be, I wasn't there and I don't compete and I'm not a fucking judge. Because what happens is, is you get these little fucking morons online that throw their fucking opinions out. And you know what? Everybody can have an opinion. I, I, I truly believe that. Now, issue that I have is that most people that have opinions in bodybuilding, they've never stepped on stage. They're too fat and dumb to diet. They don't know how hard it is. They don't know what they're looking at. And they're just being assumption uh, assumptionists, if that's even a word. Um, because they're just basing it off one thing they look at. And the be best part about it is most people given the negative feedback about professional bodybuilders are the people that look the absolute fucking worst. Um, so if you're not there, it's hard to say. I was there. I was the second. I'm sorry. First row. Second or first row from the front. Um, so I saw everything at, at the night show and I can say this, breaking them down, cutting their heads off, being completely subjective, um, and, and not biased is this from the waist up, Andrew jacked is one of the most scariest people on a bodybuilding stage and could easily win multiple Mr. Olympia titles and he was a lot harder than people thought. Um, being close to the stage, I could see he was tighter. I could see the cross rations in his quads. Now, I saw that a lot more than I did his previous shows when I, I didn't think he was in shape. But problem I do have still is when he turns around and Chris Aceto said he saw it. I didn't see it. Um, and Chris is obviously one of my good friends and he's my nutritionist. Chris said his glutes were, and hamstrings were etched and peeled. I didn't see that with my eyes. Um, I was right there. I did not see Andrew look etched from the hamstrings and the glutes. Um, I looked all over to see it. I didn't. Um, did he look that good? Yes. That good enough in condition to win a show? Uh, that show? No. Um, Samson. Now, this is where it gets confusing. Um, Samson was hard, but I would say he probably had the same condition as Andrew. You know, better than Andrew's ever been. Um, Samson flows very pretty together his transitions are eye-catching his posing is very good but 
two knocks I have on Samson, being somebody that I, if you guys remember me, I called him a, a dark horse, a black horse, whatever it was on, on, on uh, Bro Chat, um, probably two years ago. I'm a huge fan of Samson Dauda, um, a good buddy of mine, phenomenal physique, won't take anything away from him. But if we're talking bodybuilding, he's got a couple flaws. Flaws is his back's a little high and not, and not thick from front to back. Um, and when he hits his front double, his biceps to me, he's got crazy arms, but his biceps look like they're a little flat, like meaning flat peak, not flat, like full um, flat, but I'm talking like that round peak shape. He almost seems to have a flatter bicep. Now that's me nitpicking, but from the back, Having, you know, we, we hear shows are won from the back, right? We hear it all the time. Now, if that was the case in this show, it should have been like a, a Nick Andrew Samson show if that was the case from the back. Because when I was there from the back, I thought um, Andrew and Nick were, were beating Samson from the back. And, and it just, um, now, as far as Nick goes, um, I did think from pictures Nick was a little flat in prejudging. Now, I don't know the percent of how flat I think he is, but I can say this about myself, right? When I was um, a competitor and I was 2% off, that 2% off made me look like shit. Nick's 2% off doesn't make him look like shit, but he just didn't bring that super wow factor that we saw at the Olympia. And he did bring it on Saturday night when he filled up, and he probably could have been even more full. Um, and I think the judges were like, you know what? We don't want to see the the Nick that's trying to look aesthetic and and, and structurally um, flawless. We want to see the Nick Walker that's the wow factor freak, full, and gnarly grainy. And that's what they want to see. And I think they made that um, very obvious to Nick at the Arnold Classic. And I think you're going to see the pissed off um, full version of the mutant come the Olympia time. Um, you, you have your guys like Derek, you have your guys like Hottie that are knocking on the door. Um, you got Brandon who's probably pissed off because he wants his title back. Um, you got Rami who doesn't have to qualify again because he's a reigning Mr. Road champ. Like um, there's a lot of things to take into consideration coming into this Olympia. And uh, you know, from the Arnold classic, do I think they got it right? Yes. I think they did get it right. Um, I also do think, though, that they can also have flip-flopped a lot of those placings. I think, in my opinion, you know, a lot of people say, oh, Samson was the best of, uh, of all three. I, I don't believe that. I believe Samson was dead on dead, like, the best he's been. Um, the best Samson has been, does that mean that's enough to win a show? In my eyes, no. Um, I don't, you know, but it happens. Bodybuilding shows, sometimes they... they they look at you from your previous showing and then your your next showing you look substantially better. So you get the nod. It's happened to me before. It's not a bad thing. It's just how judging goes sometimes. Sometimes they're like, wow, he looked like shit three weeks ago. Look, he fucking looks crazy right now. Like, holy shit. Like, and they reward that. And that's okay. Um, and I, that's what I think. That's what I believe they did with Samson. Now the judges could say I'm wrong. Fucking everybody can say I'm wrong. That's just what I think happened. I think Samson was the one that was more improved and they went with that and i think that's okay and i also think it makes for a great storyline leading up to the olympia as well so um and one thing i told nick himself is that i think him taking second was probably one of the best things that happened to him because we get to see a version of nick walker that we haven't seen compete yet because we've seen the confident i'm gonna win nick walker we haven't seen the fuck you, I'm pissed off, Nick Walker. I'm coming for the W. And I think we're going to see that come September this year in uh, at the Olympia.